Hey everyone, <clears throat> this is this week's tiara and um, I really, really love this tiara. So yesterday, or not yesterday, Monday, I was out with my daughters. Um, I was picking up her from the bus and I saw these great uh, branches that had these very knobby points to them. And I thought they were really interesting. I thought they were better than a regular branch. So you can see these knobby points. And I think that they fell down during the ice storm um, or snowstorm we had here in Austin. So they just were really interesting to me. So I started picking up branches and I also saw that the same tree had dropped all this bark, bigger pieces of bark, but they were really interesting as well. So I picked those up as well and brought them inside. And so I started making this tiara from them. And how I did that is I wired on each of the branches. So I would place them onto the piece. I'd kind of lay them the way I'd want to lay. And then I cut them off so that they were just barely over the uh, the base. And then I'd start wiring them on and then I'd lay another piece and make sure that looked good with it and just wired them on all the way around. So these are really sturdy. They're not gonna fall off. Um, it's a very good base for this. And then I added, I didn't want the wire to be shown, so I added this bark just through. And this is this is actually glued on to the wood pieces or the, the branches, as you can see. But it's just layered so that you get this really interesting effect on it. And then um, I really liked this Malakola stone and the blues and the greens, and I thought it was very earthy. So I used that, I added the silver around the outside, and then I glued more twigs around it so that it actually gave it some kind of shape. I didn't really want to add the silver, but I thought it needed some kind of ring, and I didn't know how to make that naturally, so I added the silver in there as well, and then attached it. And then finally, I wanted a little bit of extra detail. So if you can see, there's a little bit of color. So these are just slightly brushed with a gold and then a little bit of a sparkle. Um, some of my dragon glaze, I think it was. Let me look. Yeah, it's still got a sticker on it. Dragon glaze. Um, this is the blue, green, gold shift. And I love this stuff really beautiful it works really well for my dragon eggs as well and so those are just it's just right on the edges and then kind of to highlight these really interesting textures on the bark so you can see right there um, I added it in there as well and that's really it this one took me not very long probably maybe an hour or so to make um, but it came together really easily once I found these really cool twigs let me turn it around one more time so you can see so the twigs are all wired on to the base, just a gold base like I usually use. And then the bark is added in layers. So you get some interesting effects with all the different color, the different layers in there and all the way around. And then we added the Malacola stone and then some more twigs around the edges. And that's the tiara. Um, oh, I'm sorry, the airbrush, uh, the brushing, the gold, the dry brushing as well. That's it. That's all of it. It's pretty simple this week. I just, I think it really um, came together nicely. And I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye.